I'm telling you, I need I need uh, yoga. I try to take yoga, take hot yoga. My friend's like, you remember I was all hunched over, started taking yoga? Completely straight. There was a guy in hot yoga, had no arms, started taking yoga, new arm coming in. It's skinny, but it's coming in. You gotta try it, you'd relax. So I'm in there, and first of all, it's 140 degrees. I, I see Satan, he's like, this is too much. <laughs> so I'm trying, uh, and they try not to get you, know, and there was an anorexic up front, there was nothing left of her except like a yoga suit and a puddle of water. <laughs> okay. So, the, so the, the guy's saying, okay, it's very important that you don't leave the room. Uh, and it's, oh, and it smelled like an uncleaned monkey cage after six months. <laughs> they left that out. Okay. It's very important that you don't leave the room. Now, you might experience fainting. Absolutely normal. <laughs> My heart's trying to go like pitter-patter, right? Um, you might actually do some of the positions and sever your own spinal cord. <laughs> this is correct. This is correct. This is great devotion. Uh, you might feel your right arm go numb as you go into the next lifetime. Um, it's an Indian um, practice, so we keep the circle of life just keeps going. Okay. So it's very important that you don't take, use, leave the room, which is why I've taken the key and I've thrown it out the window. <laughs> okay, so, so we're going to start with pranayana breathing. So I tried that. I mean, everyone, the only people that last are like are, are gay guys and women because we know how to suffer to look good, okay? There was, a, there was a Navy SEAL going, waterboarding was easier than this. So anyway, I tried that. And then I took a, now there's one accent I'm not crazy about. Do we have any people from LA? LA? Good, okay. Because I learned how to drive in LA and I didn't know this. Some guy mistook me for like a, you know, like a, they stamped your ticket in a restaurant. He, he thought I was the hostess. And um, he's like, can you validate me? I didn't even know what that meant. I'm like, you're warm, you're loving. You're, you know how stupid I felt? <laughs> so they don't talk, so I'm in it. So the woman's like, oh yeah, it's really nice to be here. I'm, the, I'm gonna be the substitute teacher, yeah. <laughs> Already I'm getting angry, right? I'm sweating, I'm like this. So I got her and started crying. And I was like, oh, how? Uh -huh. I'm like, it's inhale and exhale. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> inhale, exhale. I was so tense, I had to take another yoga class just to calm down from that yoga class. <laughs> so, I take the guided meditation. As you can see, anyone meditation here? It's really nothing, just you. You? <laughs> nothing, you're just smiling away. You're just happy and life just, what about you, sir? What do you do? Uh, no exercise. Great. See, guys don't care. No exercise. I put on 300 pounds, I'm a guy. I don't care. You know, you live, you die. I'm going to eat everything on that uh, menu tonight. I don't care. I really don't care. I, took, I love Deepak Chopra. I, lo I love him. And he's, and he's like, and I tried to listen to him. He's like, you are part of nothingness. And nothingness is part of nothing, of something. And something is part of nothing. But you are part of nothing, even though you are part of something. And the universe is part of nothingness. I'm like, what's, what's he talking about? <laughs> now I'm getting tense. Now I feel like a loser on a cosmic level. <laughs> so I'm like, let me listen to a little less esoteric yoga. She's like, breathe in and breathe out and release all of your anxieties. I'm like, anxieties? <laughs> A word. Didn't someone check her phonetic English? I mean, I'm sure she's brilliant. Anxieties? Breathe in from your head down to your uncle. Uncle? I don't want to think about my uncle. I want to relax. So I thought, let me go to a British guided meditation. You know, it's, I could listen to it. I follow along, nice accent. It's like, you're in a lovely field. You're, you see trees. You see a unicorn slowly coming towards you. And the unicorn carries the sacred chant in its mouth. Now for a small fee, the chant will be yours. <laughs> Just go to www.britmonk.com. <laughs> and please hit subscribe. <laughs> So I thought, you know what, I need a New York guided meditation. It's honest, it's relatable, I can follow along. Breathe in and breathe out and hold your breath because the dog just pooed in the park. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out, you're gonna hear the clank of the bottles, that's the homeless, they need jobs, don't judge, least you be judged, karma, baby. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out, I don't want you to think about your wat, bat wing arms, or your flabby thighs, or your horrible children. <laughs> One day they'll have children that will be horrible to them. <laughs> And you will know a profound, I repeat, profound joy. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. I don't want you to think about your emotionally unavailable partner that never takes you out because everyone in New York City is gay. 
Breathe in and breathe out. And remember, the upper and lower levels of the George Washington Bridge is going to be closed indefinitely. And breathe in and please close your eyes, not for any serenity, but the guy to the right of me is wearing a space helmet and nothing else on. Thank you. Now listen, hasn't the world gotten incredibly greedy? Like, I was taught to share, and I mean this, weren't you taught to share? Now it's like, you, you want to be part of the American dream? You can't, you remember you could come here, have a piece of the pie? Now you don't even get a, a, the pie. Now you don't even get the plate, the crumbs. You got to wash the dishes, right? So I, I would think, if I was a teacher, do we have any teachers here? Yes. Oh, she said that like, I'm so done teaching. <laughs> I am so done teaching. <laughs> I'm telling you, we, I would teach, if I was teaching kindergarten, I would teach greed to kindergarten kids to get them ready for this brave new world. I'd be, okay kids, we're gonna play a fun game. It's called Dog Eat Dog World with a D. Now Johnny, you have two fruit roll-ups, why? Well, my mom says I should share. Well, your mom is stupid. I want you to hold on to these fruit roll-ups and I want you to steal all of Sally's cookies. But that's mean. No, Johnny, that's America. And Sally, I want you to stop crying because I want you to go into Timmy's book bag and take some of his Adderall. Not all of it because he needs to focus. But enough to kill your appetite, wash it down with the chocolate milk, and with the remainder of pills, I want you to sell them to Donna after you call her a lazy pig. <laughs> but Donna's my best friend. No kids, cold hard cash is your best friend with a C. You got that? Cold hard cash. And I want you to learn all these skills, otherwise you're going to wind up with a student loan debt that you're never going to be able to pay, with some useless college degrees that you're never going to be able to use, working in an electronic sweatshop, living in your parents' basement, eating Doritos, watching video games, waiting to die. <laughs> just want to... I love the kids. I just want to throw it out. I'm available for children's parties. <laughs> I do want to say, we got to start talking to each other. We got the mask off, right? Everyone too much with the emojis, the texts, the no one look, looking right. No one even like everyone, everything's an emoji. You know what's going to happen? We're going to start to and turn into really bad mimes. It's like I heard your father was in the hospital. <laughs> but he's getting out in a couple weeks. <laughs> Tell him I love him. Kissy face. But I was, I was listening to YouTube the other day. And Mick Jagger was in concert, and he was like, he was getting really angry at everybody. He was, he was like, he was flipping out. He was like, everybody, put your cell phones down, put them down, and look at me. You spent three thousand dollars for a ticket just to see me, and you got your cell phones. Technology was supposed to make us closer, but it's tearing us apart. You go to a restaurant, you don't even talk to each other. You talk to the food. Anyway, I'm angry. I wrote a song, I did, and it goes something like this. Ooh, my selfie's trending, went viral just today. If I don't take a selfie, oh yeah, I'm gonna fade away. Just a click away, it's just a click away. Oh, internet, it's just a click away, it's just a click away, yeah. Ooh, I hate my cooking, I always eat buffet. It's just a click away. I need some food today. Dating sell apps. It's just a click away. I need a girl today. Yeah.